absolutely love this fight, absolutely love this division. 155 pounds. Here is Alex De Silva making the walk first. De Silva has nearly as many professional wins as he does years on this planet. We'll see if he can get the Muay Thai game going tonight. And just training together, traveling together. They've got this brotherhood coming into this fight. So this still the taller by an inch. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now to get you primed for the featured prelim, here's Bruce Buck. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding a professional record, 21 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Balneario Camaru, Santa Catarina, Brazil, Alex Leco da Silva. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a striker holding a professional record, eight wins, one loss. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, by way of Christchurch, New Zealand, Brad Quake Riddell. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Lucas Osaki. No surprise to see the UFC featherweight champion Alex Volkanovski chiming in, intently watching Brad Riddell tonight. Thank you very much, Red De La Cruz. Brad Riddell, a Red minus 320 Red betting favorite per Caesars William Hill, taking on the plus 260 dog, Alex Da Silva. This fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Ooh. I told you these guys are going to bring it right away. Oh, beautiful combination from De Silva. Yeah, really clipped Brad Riddell with that left hook. And watch the kicking game of De Silva as well. Nice combination there from Riddell. Riddell was looking for a fight ender with that left hook. Now works off of the jab and nice footwork by Riddell to avoid that De Silva offering. Kick lands for Brad Riddell. Pretty good entry from De Silva. He gets Very his first takedown time. of the fight. Very good timing there. And that was just smart. You know, you get into this bit of a firefight. You get your opponent thinking, all right, yeah, yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to throw leather. And then perfect timing on that takedown. And that's what I like about De Silva. He can do that. Guys. He can stand on the feet, make it a Muay Thai kickboxing, you know, back and forth battle. Or he can do this and start looking for his submissions as well. And what we were talking about while some of our viewers were in commercial break, just the depth of this lightweight division is such that you got two guys here on the outside of the top 15 looking in. 21 and 2 versus 8 and 1. Yeah, absolutely. That, And we're seeing that more and more, especially in the lightweight division in the UFC. These guys... Any one of these guys could go and face somebody in the top 15, top 10, and do very well and end up being ranked. It's just, you've got to pay your dues. You've got to put in your time to get there. And that's how it happens, man. It's tough. It takes people forever to get ranked in this division. Well, nice for these guys to be on the right side of 30. Riddell will be 29 next Wednesday. Yeah, he, he did not he realize that remember. when I reminded him. <laughs> 25 finishes in 29 combined wins for Riddell and De Silva. Yeah, amazing for De Silva to be his age and, and have uh, accumulated the amount of experience and fights and the record. I mean, 21 and 2, that's just impressive. Especially with the amount of finishes on that record, John. And especially when you were born in 1996. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Hey, man. We're feeling old in here. At least you were born in the 80s, bro. So De Silva at his pressuring best here early. Riddell draws such high praise for his work ethic, the intensity of his training. And he's doing a really nice job here, fighting the hands, getting back up to his feet. Because De Silva had perfect positioning there, but Brad Riddell just slowly but surely worked his way to the fence and got himself back up. And now he's really going to push and try to hip into these hands. But at the same time, be careful that it doesn't get hoisted up and Matt returned there by De Silva. And De Silva's trying. He's trying to figure out a way to get around him and get that hook in and just sort of put his weight on him and drag him back down to the mat. There he goes. And Riddell right back up. Or almost partially on a knee. Heavy knee from De Silva to the back of that right leg of Brad Riddell. 
Well, UFC Fight Pass is the new home for the UFC Unfiltered Video Podcast. This week, Jim Norton and Matt Serra are joined by UFC 253 headliners Israel Adesanya and Paolo Costa. Sign up and watch today. Nice work here now. De Silva trying to get a hook in, but Brad Riddell all over it. Nice job. Reverses him back up against the fence here. This is good work from Riddell. He did not accept those positions on the mat with De Silva at any point. And now he's back on his feet and able to strike again. Nice job by De Silva to point those toes to the midsection. Now misses on the head kick. Riddell's father won an award in New Zealand that has only been handed out three times in a hundred years, essentially awarded to a man or woman who has total disregard for their own life oh. with the hope of helping others. I got to bail on the story because we might have a choke here, Paul. Yeah, well, we do. That's pretty tight. He's going to end up reversing it. Nice job from Riddell to keep fighting it. He got some space now. Now he's got a bit of space. He's trying to hook around that leg of De Silva. He's still in trouble, and this is these are the kind of chokes that De Silva likes to hunt. All right, a competitive first round, but a strong start for the Brazilian. Round two. North <laughs> All right, round two here, Paulie. Any major takeaways from those corners? How's your Brazilian Portuguese? Eh, you know, I'm working on it. But one of the things I heard was that they said to him, did you feel it? We, he started to feel that choke when he started to defend it. And um, <laughs> De Silva seemed to d dismiss it almost a little bit. Like, you know, it wasn't it. It didn't happen. But nice wizard there. Trying to reverse. But, man, both these guys so strong. Built very similarly here. Most of the scores you're seeing had a 10-9 to Silva. Yeah, I agree with that. That was obviously his round. He got the takedowns. He was in control, landed some strikes. And I like that front kick to the body that we're seeing from De Silva. He's digging those toes and that ball of the foot right into the solar plexus of Brad Riddell. Defense holding up. Very well here against the fence for Riddell. You see De Silva in deep on this single leg, really trying to get him down. Catch the all-new UFC Live every Friday on ESPN2 as we get you primed for the Saturday action, plus all the latest news and information from around the sport. It's UFC Live Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN News. So De Silva largely controlling Riddell here through 90 seconds of round two. The Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley appreciating the high level of this lightweight contest. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, nice sidekick there to the lead. Returned nicely from Riddell. They smile at each other a bit, or at least, ooh, I like that counter check hook there from Brad Riddell. You see him looking for that, so after that right hand of this, ooh. Looked like the knee might have caught him. Nice counterattack from Riddell. Stiff jab there from Brad. Nice right hand as well. Nice oh. uppercut from Brad Riddell. To Silver returning. My Riddell goodness. lies to that shot. But what I liked that De Silva did over of that shot is he didn't get it. And as Brad sprawled back a bit and threw that big uppercut, he's trying to look for strikes off of the, the deed up takedown. Much better round here for Brad Riddell. Keeping it on his feet. Nice elbow. And he's the one really pressing forward here in the second. Looking for his own takedown here. 
Nice balance by De Silva to stay upright. Short left hand finds the target for Riddell. This is a great match. Oh! Oh, I thought he got stung with that right hand for a second. But this matchup, man, put together by the UFC is... It's great to see which one of these lightweights is gonna carry on and get closer to that top 15. A definite uptick in the aggression from Brad Riddell here in round two. And he has landed, coming up on 40 strikes in this round alone, adding to that total there. Short left lands for De Silva. Flying knee attempt, level change from Brad. Maybe looking to get a takedown here at the end of the second. Nicely done. Not that easy to finish the takedown up against the fence. Yeah, and good job using that wizard, pop him right back up to his feet, De Silva. Riddell was credited with that takedown, his first on four attempts. Body kick for De Silva. Oh, and these guys are I cracking. Love, just love this fight. I mean, we talked about this beforehand. Bulletproof matchmaking. Nice sprawl by Riddell. Perfect sprawl. Gonna push on that head and keep sprawling back. He's got to try to keep that head down. Push it down towards the mat. Nice job. De Silva gives up on it. So ultimately, he did exactly what he needed to do with that sprawl. You got to imagine Riddell's teammates, Kai Kata France and Israel Adesanya, are watching intently as they get ready to compete on pay-per-view here in a matter of hours. There's that De Silva jab on point. Oh, and he caught Riddell with the uppercut. Nice combination counter from the Kiwi. of the knee but he had a very good round two on, there guys, brad riddell all right oh, round three you know what it is it's brought to you by p3 the official protein snack of ufc ready ready alex de silva trying to make it too straight the bullet the door. don't let him think too much We'll see if Riddell can carry the momentum from round two into this third and final. Nice connection for him there. Always interested to see the live betting line. De Silva opened, or excuse me, closed plus 260 tonight, but now minus 105. Yeah, I, I, I think round one, De Silva, round two, Riddell. Th this is the round that these guys need. I think this is where the, the winner's going to be determined in this fight. Nice oh, right hand it. there from Riddell. Looks as though De Silva's starting to slow down a little bit. Absolutely. It seems as though Riddell is just getting his, you know, getting his footing oh. in there. Nice left hook as well, man. Yep, snapped his head back with that left hook, and most guys are going to have, have a hard time out cardioing Brad Riddell in this division. Well, he sort of said about his last opponent, Magomed Mustafayev, that he wasn't sure he really wanted to fight him. Alexis yeah. Silva's fighting him, that's for sure. I think his words were, I'm not sure he's here to truly test himself against him. Yeah, and he probably sees that right now. I'm sure Brad Riddell, he knows how to read people based on how he talked about seeing those things at weigh-ins. And right now, he's got to see that that confidence is already starting to fade off at De Silva a little bit. I'm not saying that tide can't change in any moment's notice here in this third round, but you can see that the confidence is oozing off of Brad Riddell now. Now he's tacking that calf. He's landing beautiful boxing combinations. And every time that De Silva shoots, he's sprawling easily on it. So that patented Riddell pressure rearing its head here in round three. Coming up on three minutes to go. We will hit pay-per-view at the top of the hour. See what I mean? He's landing these shots. Nice elbow there. Stuffed again there from Riddell. You can see De Silva's kind of working this position right now partially because obviously he wants to take down, wants to use his grappling, but also the closer they are, the, le the less combinations he's eating to the dome. De 
67 to 45, the significant strike numbers unofficially in favor of Brad Riddell. Both guys landed left hands there. What looked like it was a punch, but De Silva protests yeah, that, that it's an eye poke. The referee takes his word for it. I'm pretty sure that was a punch, John. I'd like to see that yes. in my ISO if I can, or the replay. That's a punch. That's a knuckle in the eye. And you see the corner of Brad Riddell absolutely losing their minds. And for a punch from Brad Riddell. But of course, if you go to replay, you can't restart the fight. So we don't go to replay. We're back on our way with about two minutes to go. Unless you're in Vegas. <laughs> nice work. Wow, good whizzer there from Brad Riddell. Ends up on top. He's going to try to pick that knee. Scooping those legs up so he can keep him on his butt here. Up against the fence. Going to drive into him. This is good work here in round three. Nice head kick attempt there. And that eye appears to really be bothering Alex De Silva. Right, and that doesn't happen. I mean, the internal eye damage happens from an eye poke. That's knuckles into the eye. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like that. It feels like an eye poke, but it, it wasn't. There's another left hook from Riddell. He's got to attack that eye now. Oh. He's getting aggressive here. Oh, and a beautiful Riddell. He's looking for a finish, John. He is in hot pursuit of a stoppage win with his entire home nation watching him tonight. Ooh. Big right cross lands flush for Riddell. Yeah, there could be a possible broken orbital floor in there as well. I know what that feels like, and it sucks. One minute now to decide this feature prelim. De Silva fighting through it, though. He's tough. But you see him just slowly getting a little bit fading and wilting here. The pressure of Brad Riddell is ridiculous. What a ball. He is, right? He's just strong, good striking. Nice elbow. And you see Riddell getting a little tired too, but he doesn't stop attacking. De Silva has got to do something with this 30 seconds. That eye is badly swollen up, bruised up. But he's still fighting. You see the heart of De Silva. He doesn't want to be out of this fight. So what a rally from Brad Riddell after a tough first round. The takedown defense has certainly held up. Go, go grab the fence. Silva ends up at the back, but with five seconds, it's not going to be enough to win this round. All right, so Brad Riddell and Alex De Silva go the distance. Look here, that was just a fence. The combinations on the feet from Brad Riddell, smooth boxing, stiff jab there. And there was that left hook that ultimately ends up crushing the eye there. And De Silva thought some of these were eye pokes, but it was not. It was clean punching, 